What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now, you guys read the title. You probably already seen the cornbread that I've done about two or three days ago. So listen, now it's time to put it all together, and I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make it a Southern-style cornbread dressing. Super easy. Listen, the name is longer than what it is. You just got to get your ingredients, put them out in bowls, you know, line them up. Don't forget, we're taking the mystery out. This is part of it. So once you got everything, you know, lined out, super simple. Don't really want to over talk it. So with no further ado, we're going to get right into this. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go over these ingredients. Look, we got olive oil. Look, got a quarter cup. That's what this is right here. We got chicken broth. Brought this back with me from uh, Texas. As you can see, the H-E-B -H -E brand. Listen, this is that chicken broth. We're gonna have five cups of this. Then I got one large green bell pepper. We got celery. That's about three stalks. You can cut them up how you like them. I like them about this. I like to have a little, you know, crunch to it. You know, have a little texture when I'm uh, tasting it. This right here, this is a yellow onion. You know, that was a large yellow onion. We got three tablespoons of minced garlic. And then of course, you know what? We gotta have this andouille sausage. Brought this back also. So listen, I use three lengths. I'm gonna cut them in half. And then when I got them, you know, in halves, then I'm gonna go ahead and quarter them. This right here, we got a little salt. This is cayenne and black pepper mixed together. You know, just so you guys can see. Here, listen, when you say dressing, you know what? To me, it's, it's gotta have sage. So this is one tablespoon of sage. And because it's Southern style, and you guys know that I'm on this right here, this that Creole kick. There it is right there by Sweet Smokey Joe. As you guys can see, if you've been watching some of my videos, you know that, that right there is the truth. This is what I use. There we go. And then we got a half a cup of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this in just a second. But the star, which I'll leave a link. So you guys, just in case you haven't seen, this right here is the cornbread. It's been sitting out for about, I let it sit out for three days, you know, just to completely dry out. And also, listen, this is what I'm gonna serve it in right here. Now, I just want to tell you this. This right here does about six to seven servings. If you're gonna be doing this like for the holiday, I'm gonna suggest right off the back that you go ahead and uh, double it. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this andouille sausage. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it. Cut it like this. Now I'm just gonna stop right now just to show you what I'm talking about. I told you I was gonna cut them, cut them into slices. Then I'm gonna half them. Now, just to be clear, when you cut your slices, you wanna cut your slice in half, and then you wanna cut your half in half, so you end up with quarters. You should have four pieces. Now, I just wanna show you this. This is a little tip to make it go twice as fast when cutting. If you stack it on top, just cut it down in half, and then just go ahead and cut that half in the half, and then, you know, just cut some of your, your cook time, I mean, your cutting and your prep time down. And now for those of us that are a little bit more experienced by using, you know, with using our sharp knives, you can pick them up, you know, by three or even four. Now, this is what it should look like. You know what I mean? Again, I like mine meaty. It's up to you how much you want to put in there. Most people probably would only put in, you know, like two links, but for me, I do three. Okay, now what we want to do is we're getting ready to add our sausage. And what we're going to do is cook it down on this, uh, you know, just to get it browned. Now, you know, along with that olive oil in there, under that medium high heat, we're gonna try to, you know, achieve what we call like a browning. Really, we just, uh, instead of like using like a cast iron skillet and we put that little char on there, we just gonna brown it, letting it, you know, so it can start to sweat some of that grease out of the, uh, the sausage, you know, and then we did that for about three minutes. So after about three minutes, then it'll be time to introduce our, uh, our veggies. We're gonna start off by using our, uh, our onions. We're gonna start introducing the onions first. Now, just keep moving it around. All of it's coated. It's been under that medium high heat, you know, starting to sweat. Let's look at that flavor right there. You can see it in that boil. Now, go ahead, hit it with that. Uh, you can hit it with your yellow onion. And you know, again, that's diced. Then we come back with the celery. And the only thing we have left right there would be the uh, green peppers. Now, we just gonna work that around, make sure that all our veggies absorb and, you know, get coated with some of that oil. And you know, that's that flavor, you guys. Hey, real important. Hey, when you start cooking this, and listen, I'm doing a voiceover, so listen, I'm starting to come up with that uh, that watery mouth as I speak. You know, just, I can I can smell it and it's already been made. Now, after about, I'm gonna go in another three minutes here, we just wanna get our veggies to start becoming soft. We don't wanna just make them too soft. 
and then we're gonna come with that there it is right there that's that mince garlic now under this medium high heat some of you guys might think two minutes here might burn it but it doesn't you know it just it, hey, it's actually perfect so once you put your minced garlic in there you might want to make sure you stir it around good you want that minced garlic to get cooked just enough to release its flavor and it's the combination of all of this that's just gonna make this uh cornbread just hey i i can't say it enough this is what makes it amazing if you guys never made a cornbread like this hey you want to talk about southern style this is it right here and we ain't even hit it with the uh with our you know with our seasonings yet now listen you saw that move right there i just make sure everything is kind of like flat you know what i want to let it simmer we only want to go two minutes with the uh after we add the garlic so really the cook time here is about five minutes and there you can see look at you can actually see the flavor and the goodness inside of the oil and the grease that's starting to mix right there now once it's done you want to remove it you know from the heat hey that's a pro tip you guys you see that right there get yourself some kind of pot holder something that you can protect your uh, your counters Okay, now I'm getting ready to take this bowl here. You want to get a bowl big enough. Now remember, this is just really serves like six to seven people. If it's the holiday, of course, you're going to double this. So you're going to make sure you want to have a big enough bowl so you can mix all your ingredients. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start with the cornbread. Now, in this part right here, it goes, it, you know what? It, just like it sounds, it's exactly what we're doing. We're just taking our cornbread and listen, we're just crumbling it up. And especially for the new people, look, this is a guy so you guys can see. Towards the end, I'm going to show you guys just what it looks like. But listen, some of it is going to break fine. Some of it is going to be a little bit bigger than others. You know, some of the uh, pieces are going to be a little bit bigger. I just mix it up, bring the bigger chunks to the top, and I just crumble those up too. But listen, you're going to have all different sizes just like that there. Now, real simple. Don't forget, I let mine dry out for three days, but two days is really ideal. So, now that I have that done, now it's time to move on to the next step, which is we want to go ahead and get our pan and we want to get all of that goodness. Look at that right there. See it sliding in? Oh, man. That's the, hey, listen, you got to get it all right there. And now, after that, we're going to start adding all of our dry ingredients, you know, our seasoning. I'm using this Creole Kick. Now, listen, you guys can use any old Creole seasoning that you would like, but Creole Kick is the one right there. And listen, one of my favorites because it doesn't have all of that salt intake, you know, uh, inside of there. So you don't take it all in. And then if you need to make an adjustment, you can add some salt to it. It's perfect. The perfect blend. And as you see, I'm adding some salt to it right now. And then after that, then we're going to come with that cayenne and that black pepper. Look, real easy. And you know we making cornbread, so we got to have that sage. So look, sprinkle that in there. And now it's time to give it a nice mix. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken broth. Hey, listen, this is a pro tip for you guys. Listen, get yourself, it's the holidays. We're going to be doing a lot of cooking. So if you can, get yourself one of those uh, four cup glass Pyrex measuring cups. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken broth. I said four to five cups, but that right there is four cups. So I didn't have to use the Pyrex there. That was there just to set up when I had to add the extra cup. Now, you just add that to it. Add about half of it and then go ahead and give it a stir. You'll be surprised. It might seem a little watery in the beginning, but listen, that cornbread just absorbs it all up. I guess even the veggies and everything else, because listen, it goes away. Okay, you can see how it just absorbs it up. Now, here's the thing. It's up to you to decide how much, you know, how wet you want it to be and how you want to bake it. For me, it looks like just this time, might just only going to take just these uh, four cups. Now, once you got it to the desired thickness that you like, I like it to be a little wet and a little dry. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going to show you right now. This is what I'd be looking for right here. This type of consistency. So, once I got what I want, I'm not even going to add another, uh, I'm not even going to add another cup to it. This is the way I like it. Now listen, that's determined on how long or how big your cornbread is and how long it, you know, you let it dry out. The longer you let it dry out, the smaller it'll get. So if you do it like in, you know, 48 hours, listen, you'll have enough. And you know, if you need to make some more, you can. So you just want to keep stirring, making sure everything has been absor absorbed. And listen, as it sits, it just, you know, absorbs that, you know, chicken broth in there and it just turns out right. It should look just like this. You guys can see that. I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna bring my dish, because this is what I'm gonna bake it in. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna melt this butter, then I'm gonna brush this around here, just so it doesn't stick. Put a little bit on there, then I'm gonna add the rest to here. Then we're gonna pour it in here, and we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay, look, got my butter melted. Let me just do this, so it'll be much easier 
for me to show it this way. Now, I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix this together with, you know, with our dressing. Now, once you got every, you know, got it all mixed and you're good there. Now, what you want to do is you want to take your uh, the remainder of your butter, get yourself a brush, and you just want to brush the sides and put some down on the bottom, just so that it doesn't stick to whatever dish you're baking it in. Now, listen, if you don't have a brush, go ahead and get yourself a, a paper towel and do it that way. Just put it in the butter and then you just smear it around. Now, go ahead and add your cornbread dressing, you know, to your dish. Look, look at that right there. You guys' mouth should be watering right now because those of you guys that have made this in the past, you know, any style, you know this right here is it. So listen, what I'm doing now is I'm just taking the back of my wooden spoon and just like spreading it out, getting it sort of even. Now we're going to put it in the oven for 50 minutes and then at 25 minutes, we're going to bring it out, we're going to stir it, and then we're going to put it back into the oven for another 25 minutes. And then when it's done and it's complete, that's what you should have right there. Ooh wee folks, southern style cornbread. Now, you guys can take a look. So this is what happened. Look, halfway through the cook, I went ahead and brought it out. I noticed it had like a little crack in it. Just having, you know, having that portion cracked, I decided, you know what, I might as well transfer dishes. So I did that. Only thing you guys didn't see is me just flipping it over, you know, mixing it all up, and then going back in for the next 25 minutes. But this is the final. As you can see right here, look, you can see where it started browning. Man, real nice. Just put that flavor in there. So this right here is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it, you know, a stir. I can still hear it sizzling. It's up to you. Now you guys can add, you know, a little bit more chicken broth to it. But I'm gonna say, if you leave it like this, it's still nice and moist. I would just suggest you just covering it right here. And after you cover it, listen, you gotta make yourself a gravy. I got a cold gravy and I'm about to do a, a gravy video. So stay tuned, but this is how I look. Tell me what you guys think. And let's close this out. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. Super easy. We're getting into our holiday, you know, recipes. Hey, I got to tell you, I stand by this right here. You guys got to check it out. Listen, everybody not, might not be able to get uh, what we call uh, andouille sausage. So what you got to get is get yourself some type of uh, spicy sausage or anything like that. And then for those of you guys that don't do the pork, you know, find it in a version where you guys can, you know, you know, eat it and it'll be cool like that. So look, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. It's still hot. As, you know, as I told you before, we had, I had to uh, transfer this, but this right here, all I can tell you is this with a little turkey gravy, or you know what? I could do my own little gravy, my little bacon flavored gravy. Hey, that right there, that'll do it. Hey, listen, so I got people behind the scenes. Listen, they ready to get down and eat. Everybody looking at me, I'm trying to keep from laughing. So I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, how many people like cornbread dressing? And have you ever had it, you know, Southern style? This is it, real easy. Now, let me go ahead and just take the time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see more recipes like this hey and with that being said you know this is the channel that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes and i'm out of here y'all peace